and wrong. All right. Do you know that the? I hate to stop it, but this was off of there the whole time. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. What's going on, guys? Is that better now? For yeah. You? yeah. Well, I didn't know because it was just popped I, up on I, there. So. I faded, trust me. All right. <laughs> so what's going on, guys? We're here with you. It's Quentin. We got Patricia, my wife. We got Joe. We got Patrick. Yeah. We got another packed episode for you guys. We got yep. strange news. We got uh, some stuff to talk about. Uh, we have what some Christmas trivia, Christmas trivia, yep. story uh, time with uh, Patricia. Story there. time with Patricia. Um, <laughs> she got a story it's, for us. It's, this inter- it's interesting, um, and I'm sure other things will pop in there yeah. along the way. So, I guess we will start it off with the strange news this week. Oh uh, yeah, let me wasn't a whole lot one. supposedly. No, I guess because it's winter time and people aren't going out. Maybe that's why Maybe. I don't have a lot. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't like. Too, too much. All right, first one I have. Chipotle has a Miley Cyrus burrito on its online menu now. Gag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would just say that pass on that one. So, what? I guess it's a new Twitter challenge, I guess, is what people are calling it. If Miley Cyrus comments, I'll do something challenge. So, they'll, like, say something. So, Chipotle was like, all right, if she comments back, we'll put a burrito on there. And so she named it the, which I have a picture of, right there. She named it, the guac is extra, but so is Molly Burrito. That's what it's called on the online menu on Chipotle there. And it's weird. (laughs) She needs to write her own music, Patrick. That's what's pissing me off with her lately. She needs to write her own music. She's just. I mean, it's with a veggie with white rice, black beans, fajita veggies, roasted chili corn salsa. Tortilla tomato red sauce. And this is there's which, one, which place with this? Uh, Chipotle. 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 I've never ate there. Oh, you haven't? No. Ain't that where everybody got sick? Uh, was it Chipotle that did that? Everybody got like some kind of damn. They might have bacterial infection or something <laughs> or some shit. I think so. Maybe back in it was been. Ago. It's probably been a few years, but I've never ate there anyway. Yeah. So but. the burrito cost eight seventy five. Yeah, so they, too much. <laughs> with no meat on it, you can just get beans. Does it, it's a vegetarian. Does it come with a no little meat? No. Does it come around. with a little mullet on the package? <laughs> <laughs> Do they draw a little mullet? <laughs> yeah, they, they did that. Anna Montana wrapped. <laughs> Speaking, what was it last year? When remember the Hep C? <laughs> at, oh yeah, that at was all huge. the restaurants, yeah. and it just <laughs> disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> you got to wash your hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people was in there doing duty do and yeah, not washing, not washing their hands, and scratching, scratching the ass, and making, and making your burrito, food. making your chipotle <laughs> burger or sandwich or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, with no meat. <laughs> All right. The next one has a video of a uh, portable toilet seeing Christmas carols in a festive display. Saw this one, dude. I've heard morning. about this. Which uh, right? Play the yes. I, there, I can't have the sound on it, but. Because it is a copyrighted song, but they're all porta potties. And he Jingle did a live show for it. And Jingle th- John. They sing Hallelujah. That's what I think it is what it is. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I sing when I go into John. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So they claim it's a world record, but Guinness won't recognize it, though. So, so they'll recognize all this other stupid shit. They yeah, but they that. said they won't recognize this for some odd reason. I can't. Oh, they don't do f- like lighted faces. Or, I don't know. Some weird excuse they use. But. Self-proclaimed. Well, world anyway, I give I give the people props. I give the people props for doing that. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, but check it out. You can hear the music. It goes right. Where with it. Where was this? Where did they do it? Did Indiana. It in, oh, in Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. No shit. In Indiana. I guess they had a lot of free time on their hands. I'm sure. <laughs> it's on a trailer, so you could just drive. Yeah. <laughs> just drive up shit pots around. Yeah, but look at the background. Are they outside? Oh, yeah, I guess they're outside. I'm guessing no, it's the or background. Is it outside? No, it's, it's a background. I think that's like a backdrop or something. It's a backdrop for him. It's like be. a backdrop of downtown Louisville. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> that's a backdrop of New York City. <laughs> Could be. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Gotham City Fire Department. <laughs> is is it, really? it? That'd be hilarious. <clears throat> bat, look, the bat signal's up over there. You just don't see it. <laughs> it could be. That'd Here be we go joke. with that damn Batman shit again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Super, Superman don't get his own light. Batman does. Hey, Batman's man, man. You gotta have light because he don't have no special powers. You can't see in the night. <laughs> is that why he gets a light? Judges <laughs> right. are, are nocturnal. Judges in there like keep talking. Bats are nocturnal. Batman's gonna bust in the door and I'm beat your you. ass. <laughs> Where are they? 
dark night is going to bust through. All right. Next I have is a nine pound goldfish found swimming in South Carolina Holy Lake. Shit. So it was you a got picture. a picture? Yes, I got a picture of it. A nine pound. That's it. Well, nine I mean, pound holy goldfish. Holy crap! <coughs> well, that was swimming in the lake. They were doing some research in the lake, and what they do it's is a carp, like, basically. Yeah, they, they use an electric shock, and it shocks them and it stuns them. And that came up to the top, and they're like, "That doesn't belong here." Yeah, that, so, there's a lot of them that get released. They was actually paying people in, in the Ohio to catch it. Was it Asian carp? Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. But yeah, have you seen the things when you're driving down the like driving down the road with the water? They're dangerous. They'll knock your yeah. ass out. Oh, yeah. The carp yeah. jumping up out the water. Yeah, yeah. but there's a nine pound. I'm guessing since if Rebecca's watching, I'm <clears> sure <throat> that might be her lost goldfish when she was younger. Who knows? Yeah, nine some, pounds in some lake. Might have been. Somebody flushed that one down the pool. <laughs> he, he was a survivor. <laughs> he survived. He's nine pounds now. They put him back in the lake, though, by the way. So. Oh, they did? Yeah, it doesn't affect the system at all. Yeah, the Asian so. carp, they eat. They eat uh, They're like, is this natural? Yeah, they, yeah it's invasive so they let species. it go. Dude, they say that there is some fish in the Ohio River. Bigger than school buses, yes. I've heard. I've heard. I could, might believe that. <laughs> I've, like, I've, catfish, I would. I probably would believe it. Cause probably a catfish, I, yeah. I heard a story, like a barge wrecked into uh, something, <clears throat> but when they went down there to like cut it up, scuba divers, the yeah. scuba diver came up and said, I will never go back in this water. <laughs> wow. Well, hmm. I've heard stories when they was doing the bridges and stuff too. When he's working on bridges, they have to have them scuba dive down there and place it. You yeah, because you got to place the concrete and and yeah, that, underneath yeah. of there. Mm-hmm. And they they've said that there's some huge stuff right there. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want that job. <laughs> I'm like, no. Nah. I'm like, ain't doing it. Catfish swallow your hoe and shit. No, nah, mm-hmm. I'm good. All right, I got your uh, river monsters. Watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the the fourth mystery uh, steel oh. thing. <clears throat> Came what in Texas. Oh. In front of Texas restaurant. Or yeah, some pizzeria, I think, yeah. Appeared there. The fourth one they found? The fourth one. I guess I missed the other two. <laughs> the other one, the second one, first one's Utah. Second one was Romania. Third one was Germany. was in Germany. We just did it last week. No, no, uh, um some guy put it out the side California, of his wasn't it? It might have California. Some yeah. guy put it outside of his bakery or something. Yeah. That was well, that, yeah, that was a, they just make fun of that one. one yeah, yeah, that was a fake one. That one's California now. This one's in but Texas. But didn't one of them get stolen? Or the one bakery? They all got taken down. They'll all come up like a couple days and they get taken Best down. Best one is a meme I sent you. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was the meme. That was one. good. That was the Utah <clears> one. Yeah. Yeah. That extended car warranty. Yeah, yeah we're calling what... you. I'm sorry, but we're calling you about your extended <laughs> car warranty. So they keep coming up and keep coming down. I don't know who's doing it. No one knows. It's weird. I just want to know what exactly they're made of. If that's solid metal or if it's just like outside it's like with alu- metal I bet it's around like alu- it. Aluminum. It might be something. aluminum. Just casing around yeah. it. Yeah. And maybe it's probably hollow. You know, because they got to take it apart real quick and put it back up. So yeah, I think it's hollow. Or either in that the or it's, it's light hollow. that they can pick yeah. it up or something. It goes on a heavy base or some shit. Maybe. All right. This is uh, the world's first commercially printed Christmas card. Goes on sale for twenty five thousand dollars. And there it is right there. What? Yes. It was <clears throat> marketed in 1843. And it's being sold in a Boston book dealer selling for $25,000. Damn, Damn. Why couldn't I have something like that? What's that say at the top? Uh, oh, to no. miss. <clears throat> to Mr. and I think Mrs. It's to be two miss. Yeah, it's two whoever missed. Whoever got the card. And yeah, from, Mr. and Mrs. Something. There's Dawson? a from down there. Is that wow. Dawson or something? Or Dawson? But the car was like controversial because if you look in the middle, that's a little kid drinking wine. Though. Holy <laughs> that's crap! That's yeah. wine. If you look, the lady. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't drink water back then. Same thing overseas. <laughs> <clears throat> drink so that, that water, you thing. get the amoebic dysentery. <laughs> so that was the very first for twenty five thousand wow. dollars going for. So twenty five. Which I thought I thought would be going for more than that for the first commercially printed Christmas card. Yeah, I mean, oh maybe it could be probably, but then again, I guess and that's kind of a that's probably a real real niche market though. Well, yeah, well it says a thousand copies originally produced, and around thirty are known to still exist. So that's twenty nine more. So I mean, it's a small amount. Yeah, <clears throat> but like I said, you got collectors that just collect nothing but like old Christmas stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's probably going to be. It might go. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. Get it. <clears throat> it'll probably get bought. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, it'll get bought. Yeah. Somebody'll buy it. Uh next I have is world's first oh wait a minute. 
Yeah, worth. Hmm, oh no, man tops sixty six miles per hour in electric wheelchair for Guinness record, and the picture's right there. That's him in his electric wheelchair. That ain't no damn wheelchair. <laughs> no. <laughs> they call it a wheelchair because he's paralyzed, so he can't. I think neck down maybe. It's, it's, oh, he is because yeah. he is steering it with his little knob, little knob over there. Yeah, you don't have a steering wheel. No, so I guess that's <laughs> like probably don't turn. And it's battery powered, so back up, Terry. <laughs> back up. <laughs> have so, that some fireworks start going off. You get the hell out of there. Put grandma on that right there. <laughs> get around real quick. Shit, we ain't putting my mom in that thing. She take out walls <laughs> and Walmart and shit. She takes enough out now. She takes enough out. And that's slow ones. I like how he's got his sponsors on the side. <laughs> oh, he does have sponsors. Yeah, he's that's a, funny. He does. I guess. Well, yeah. And the sponsors in the Tesla. Jacket, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tesla didn't do that one. Surprisingly, <laughs> he should have got them. Give it time. But, Give it time. Speaking of Tesla, though, insane mode. You thought the Cybertruck was weird. The rocket? Oh, I thought you were talking no, about No, there's Elon a new Musk's car company rocket. coming out. And this oh, is their, it's an electric car. It's solar powered, so it doesn't need charging. Solar powered? Yes, it's solar powered. So they're claiming it doesn't need charging. What happens if it's cloudy? You're screwed. I guess so. It doesn't charge while it's driving, though. So it was solar power, I guess, because it can't keep up mm-hmm. with it. So, but here's what it looks like. Right there. What, what the, the hell? <laughs> it's that? a three wheel. It's the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, I think, the Lure some. Oh, <clears throat> Apertur- A-P-T-E-R-A. <clears throat> I wonder how much Apertur- that thing weighs. Probably nothing. Nothing. Is it just a single passenger, too? It looks like. Uh, I think it might be two passengers. It starts <clears throat> out at $26,000, though, for the Shoo. first. It's like 26 to like a little bit over 40, I think. Why would you want to buy that? I guess you would never have to pay for anything. Though. No, it says it, it never needs charging because of solar There's, power. You don't like, have to pay to charge it. No, I mean, what's they're taking? All you can do now. is drive it. I, I mean, wonder what the wonder what the like. Uh, yeah, you couldn't haul shit in it, or you couldn't no. pick up groceries in the damn thing or anything. No, I wonder what the mile radius is on it. Like, how far does it go before it dies? Uh, over a thousand miles. What? Yep, damn. the range of it. Yep. That's what they're a thousand claiming. miles because yep. the Tesla only goes like three hundred and how fast yeah. does it go? I'm guessing <clears throat> normal. I guess maybe like fifty five. <laughs> <laughs> you would think I it would have to guess. at least do 80, 85 or something. But the weird thing is, they have pre orders sold out. They are so <laughs> everybody's bought them. I mean, I guess if like just a cruise to go somewhere, I mean, you have to spend gas. If they could rig that up to where it can make a repair van out, that'd be the shit. I think I'd rather have a Prius. I <laughs> uh, said so the solar panels covering the car are only able to capture enough energy from the sun to charge 40 miles per day. And that requires like really sunny weather, they said. So. Oh, that's that's the shitty part. Yeah. Then it gets a thousand miles. But if you drive 200, 300 miles in it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you how many days to recoup that? A lot. And it's going to have to sit still and not drive it? Yeah, I just so I, I just I don't, <laughs> that just sounds like a bad idea. Uh, so I, I don't know. I can't wait to somebody <clears throat> like they market it and test ride it, and I have to check it out. It just the sounds like an it. overall bad idea. If you had that, like it's just a going think, out car, and that was it. If they get groceries and back, or just going, or just drive, you out. know, drive around, just the solar panels oh, on the back of it. Yeah. yeah. Look at Christmas lights. Uh, looks better in the. Uh, no, where's the headlights at? In the front, like that, the in that oh, that one bar. big bar yeah. right there, just like the Cybertruck. Remember that one there? <laughs> I just want to what the ass looks like. It looks like just a point. Yeah, it's a point. That's where on the back of it. That's where all the solar panels are. At. It's it's a weird car, and it's three wheels, so that makes it even. <laughs> Joe, what would you do if somebody pulled up next <laughs> to you with one of those and your big diesel? Slap them. <laughs> your big diesel. Slap them. <laughs> You could haul so, about as many hay bales as you did cars with that. <laughs> I think I could probably haul that in the bed of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next it, one. It probably don't weigh nothing. It probably it can't. Probably doesn't. It, it probably can't. can't. No. But three wheels, though? I don't know. What kind of motors? I guess is it like wheel motors like the Tesla, I guess? I and guess it is. don't have a motor in it. No. It's just on the just, wheels. I guess. I'm assuming. All right. Next mm-hmm. one I have is a woman hasn't driven for a week after terrifying find inside her car door handle, which I have a picture of. Snake. It's got to be a snake. Or spider. Always people. There's the scared. first picture. Oh, oh. that's a spider. <laughs> wow. So 
and I have a closer view of it. <clears throat> so you there's really a far. Seeing it and grabbing. She said she barely saw it because yeah, at the last second. She Who said looks she at saw it though? I don't ever look at mine. Yeah, see, it makes you think. Maybe we should start. And Do you look at yours, Joe? Thing. There's the close up of it right there. <laughs> Like if you walked out there one morning to get in your truck, open the car door, do you look at it? I don't look at it. Uh, the my Chevy is open. No. Yeah, just, see my my truck's not. That's like now my truck. My my diesel is you gotta actually put your fingers in there. Then yours is on the side of the door, right? Yeah. See mine's mine's just a regular pull, and my my uh, escape is. Oh yeah, the handle. Yeah, the pull yeah. handles. Yeah, but I guess she had the one like the old school ones that go underneath. Yeah. Like my truck. My truck's got that can. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it either for <laughs> being a spider. I don't look at the door handle, so. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, your car's looking. like that, right? Yeah, my car's like that, yeah. So a spider could hunt. Or Dude, I'm going to get a big fake one and stare. I'm going to give it like a couple months and wait. <laughs> and scare. Yeah. And go stick one stick one underneath Joe's diesel handle. <laughs> right. Scare scared. him over. <laughs> 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 Like, got like, him <laughs> <laughs> got him uh, uh, next I have a homeowner told to move out immediately after discovering a doll's face in their basement wall which I have a picture of a what now a doll's face yeah the doll's what face the hell? was in the basement in their wall <laughs> that's, that's some weird. freaky shit so she posted this online after she bought the house and she's trying to figure out like what it was and why would they do it or anything and I didn't know this, but I guess apparently in California, well, I guess it was like 60s and 70s, this is very popular, and people did it in their homes. <laughs> Putting doll heads in there? Yeah. I don't it's even know. Freak out future homeowners, probably. <laughs> it said, uh, those are called cellar babies. In the late 60s, early 70s, there was a trend in both New York City and California to, um, I guess, put doll parts in walls in your house, including basements. <clears throat> Yeah, That's what weird. did they do? Chop children up and put them in something? <laughs> it's a weird fad, I guess they have. Cellar babies. Yeah, they're called cellar babies. Yeah, well, I guess they, every generation has got their stupid thing they do. Yeah, yep. it was the 60s. <laughs> the Doing a lot of LSD. There. A lot of LSD. Let's put babies in the concrete. <laughs> and freak people out for generations to come. <laughs> Peace, love, and babies in the cellar. <laughs> Uh, let me see what else I got. I got, I think that might be it for the news this week. Yeah. Uh Oh, wait a minute. I do have, where is that? All right. So somebody, how much do you think it'll cost to repair National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation House? How much does it cost to repair Yeah. The all house? the repairs, yes. Some added it up on, some repair company add, actually added it up. How much do you think? All the Oh, that all the shit that happened? Yeah all, yeah, all the stuff they messed up to like repair. Like burning the tree. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Um, yes. Blowing up a sewer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shit, man. I'm going to say probably 20. Oh, this is, I think this is remodeling it. I don't think they count the sewer and all that. Oh. I'm going to say I was, about 20, 30,000. I, I, I was going to say 25. <clears throat> you think yes? Probably about 30. 30? When were you say 25? 20, I said 20 to 25. Or I think 25 to 30 is what I said, but I guess... We'll go, yeah, with tw- This company said years. it's about $10,000 worth of damage. Really? Oh, of the home. Three miles. <laughs> yeah, you're so way we're over. way over. But yeah. you could add yours in if you count the plumbing in <clears throat> and all that. Yeah. It might be like twenty five thirty. Yeah, because he busted his window out. Yeah. <laughs> Win- windows. <laughs> windows. Uh, they so ripped the, the gutters and shit off. Yeah. Through the, they, the dog chewed yeah. through the door. Uh, um, then... Then they burn. Did they burn anything other than the tree? Or just the chair. A chair. Yeah. They yeah. had the drapes. chair and the carpet. The cat yeah. got seared into the carpet. Yeah. So you got to replace the carpet. Looked like that some bucks that. done spent all his lives, Clark. You got fire he, damage. He, he and cut. Smoke. He cut the new post. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, that's about ten grand. Yeah. So that's probably that's probably about right. That was all his bonus check money. He was trying to wait on the yeah. <laughs> yeah. The jelly of the month. <laughs> Uh, next, I have uh, most Americans won't make New Year's resolutions for 2021, so he says. <laughs> I wonder why. Because <laughs> like, everybody, I just love how everybody's like, man, this next year is going to be so great. It's going to be a lot better. You no, think? I, I don't, don't know. see it being any different. I don't either. Maybe they learned a lesson. As long as them damn year. murder hornets go away. <laughs> That's the only thing concerning me. Well, we'll probably have a new president, too. Yeah. There's a murder so hornet coming in. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> murder hornets are coming. 
And now I, found, I actually found this story, which I, I need to find the survey or the research they did it. Finally, it says thanks to some new research, we now know which is the best and worst days to have your birthday on. Finally, Christmas. Christmas is the worst. I told her on that. That is yeah. the best worst. one would be. They said uh, July the, sometime. Uh, it turns out if you're born in the summer, you're much happier with your birthday. In fact, the research already shows June fifteenth is the best day for your birthday. While not far behind is June twenty first because that's the longest day of the year. Oh. And summer. And they said most of the Christmas is the worst. <laughs> and then it goes any other like holidays after that. And February 29th is like second. Because that happens on Leap every year. four years. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think that one would be the worst. Yeah, you never know when your birthday's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> you could be on the first or it could be on the you have to set it on the thirtieth, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It was like or like the fall. She or if you had like fall. Christmas Eve, they they put New Year's Eve on here, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, and September 11th was the March, worst one. The middle of March is Landon's. That's kind of shitty usually. It's too. the worst because we never know. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be pouring out rain. Yeah. Usually Last rains. Last year's been raining. My, my grandmother's was September 11th. That so, sucks. See, it sucks after <laughs> so many times. Yeah, mine's September. I can see like New Year's Day being pretty bad too, because everyone's hungover yeah. and you can't really. That, that would kind yeah, of so no then everybody yeah. done spent all their money on <laughs> yeah. Christmas. So I guess you're... nobody cares yeah. about May. That's mine. May's not too that's bad. My, my, mom, that's mine and my, my mom's wife. April. My brother's is in May. My brother's is in May fourteenth. Yeah, see, it's summertime. May. It's like getting warm. It's not as rainy. Tyler it's is a, summertime. Uh, the Derby Eve baby. Oh, yeah. Not this, this year. It's Little Oaks. He was born <laughs> Oaks. Yeah, not this year. Not this year. Yeah, not, this, not this year. Derby was canceled. Yeah. yeah. But, no, it happened. It was just September. Yeah, but we just didn't. We didn't really. It, can, yeah, it was canceled. Right, yeah. I didn't watch it. No, didn't watch <laughs> it's it. canceled. You, you didn't watch the. Uh, what was that? Was that on Derby? They did the. Uh, the the dig- replay of Thunder? No, the digital. Oh, oh that was worse. Don't the digital race that. for Secretariat won. No. Oh, they, they took all the Derby winners. What? Yeah, and they just did like a digital. Oh, race. that's actually kind of cool. They took all the Derby mm-hmm. winners from past years and they did like a uh, computerized race and Secretary at one. He's they still won. Steve's still, he's still he's like still the fast. quickest though. Yeah, he's, he's still, still like the, the fastest. Quickest yep. <sighs> which I think which was it the uh, was it the Fusachi Pegasus was the closest to beating his speed or something. I think so. I think so. Yeah. So, yeah. But yep, that's all the news out this week. Not very much. So.